Today we're looking at one of the brand new icons of FIFA 23. It's going to be Gerd Muller, 92 rated. His mid icon, high medium, 5 foot 9, 4 star, 4 star. Can play striker or centre forward to other positions there. And I'm struggling to find anything wrong with this card. Apart from maybe his long shots if I were to be really picky. We've gone for a hunter just to boost up his pace and his shooting overall. But as you can see, it's amazing composure, great balance and agility. Amazing finishing, great shot power. Long shots, obviously, as I mentioned, could be improved. Header and accuracy, 95. And in terms of traits, we've got finesse shot and outside the foot. So he's got two of the best traits on the game at this moment. He can't be lengthy, and that's something we may have to see if it's a problem or not. But that being said, we'll talk about Kem Styles pricing and much more at the end of the video. But that being said, let's go jump into some gameplay, but have a word from today's sponsor. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Knife, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So the main thing for me with Muller is his ability to finish, of course, but also can he play a solo striker or does he need another striker with him? He's currently about 950,000 coins at the moment, so he has to be very clinical, that's for sure, to justify those coins. We do find him here driving. We're going to take an early shot. That's not the great shot. A bit slow. We do get a corner. So he hasn't got the best stats there. 93 pens, good, but free kick accuracy are much more, not the greatest. Muller into space. Great header. What a goal from him, and that's exactly what we need him to do there. I think our opponent is going to rage quit by the looks of it. And he has raised quit, so we managed to get one shot with him off. Let's go jump into another game. Into our second game then. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully a bit longer than the first one. So far, so good with Muller on his head. Header and actually coming in very, very clutch for us on the corner. Can I run in? Can I play over the top? We can. A little overhead kick. Oh, I had to try it. I had to try it. Right, here's Muller now. A little link up. One, two into the space. We can get to run back through again. We find Muller. Little finesse round, great save. It should not finesse there, but I wanted to test out the finesse shot. It's looking good so far, not noticing too much problem with the pace. If we do find him here, Muller, good save again. Maybe we can pick him out from a corner like before. Actually, we're going to try something else. We're going to try the old Travella. Let's see if we can do our Travella routine here with Muller on the edge. All right, Muller takes a touch. Outside the foot, great save. Muller picks the ball up. Oh, I tried a Traveller again. Great tackle. He seems very, very clunky when he's on the ball, I have to admit. But that also being said is we're not really expecting him to be quick. Because, again, he's not lengthy. We're out. Back post. Muller. Oh, very unlucky. Using that pace. Oh, that's a bad touch. He's not that good on the strength, I have to say. He's a little bit weak at times when it comes in between the lines. But in terms of actually getting in front of the opposition, I'm not noticing it too badly with this whole lengthy meta. Right, counter attack. Here we go. Muller, a little one-two. Back to Terrier. Back to Muller. Oh, I nearly got him through. We do keep the pressure on, though. By Muller. A little switch inside. Oh, a bit of pace. And he hasn't finished. That's a poor finish. We should have scored that, really. Gil was past two there. Lovely move. A little layoff. And that's a lovely assist. He's good at dribbling. He's good at skill, I have to say. That has surprised me the most. Very good at skill, but he is slow at times. If he's in sprint, he doesn't seem that slow. It's just getting him to the full sprint is where this seems to be the problem. Here's Muller now taking the ball. As you can see, just not the quickest as that's an absolute outstanding tackle. And I am struggling to get him through the gaps if he's on the man like that. If he's already sitting on last man like he is here, he's not the worst at doing it. It's just trying to get some bit of skill to get through. As we do find him here, surely finishes it left foot. And he hasn't scored that either. Wow, I don't know about this card. Right, Muller pushing between the lines. Can we find him? Through ball. Here we go. Around the back. And that is a much better finish. That's what we're expecting from him, to be honest. A lovely little chip there. One thing I will say is I'm getting another rage quit is he's good. Got to remember he is 950,000 coins. Is he that good? I'm not completely sold just of yet. We've had a lot of shots of him and a lot of saves. The finesse one was my fault. We'll put that down to that. Let's go jump into one more game and see if that changes at all. So into our third and final game then. A couple of things as I've mentioned before is his finishing is a little bit inconsistent. Just for his price tag. I think it's almost Mbappe sort of level price. And that's something to really consider with this review as well is his price. But that could all change in this game. We have played a few other games as well, and it hasn't changed much, but we shall see. 
Bit of skill. And that is a much better finish. There we go. A little bit of skill into the shot. And Muller has got the goal there. His left foot. And that's a better finish. We could have done with that in the last game. Lovely little pass play. By Muller. He's going to take a turn. And that's a poor shot again. Left foot is so inconsistent. One minute it's an absolute banger. The next minute he misses it. As we do pick up the loose ball. Great tackle. Muller right into the space. We find him. It's a lovely pass. No strength there. And that's a Matip that's caught him, by the way. Matip. <laughs> no one incredibly fast. So we get another chance, though. So Muller, right foot this time. Outside the foot. And that's much better from him. But you can see there the pace is lacking at times. That was Matip that took over and tackled us. And again, that's down to this lengthy meta on new gen. On old gen, I bet this card is an absolute cheat code. His passing's really good. His finishing is a bit inconsistent, as we've said, as we do going to get him a hat-trick here. Oh, no, we won't. We do tackle, though. Driving in. Muller's just waiting on the edge on his own. Left foot and off the post. Again, left foot finish. Being inconsistent as always. Muller making that run over the top. Can we get it to him? That's a great ball. Again, a bit too slow. Lovely control though. One, two. I think he's offside. He is. But there you can see there we had to do so much dribbling there with him to get him through. That was Matip again who's this on us. Not the quickest defender. And that's the only thing I'm not enjoying about this card. If he's already sitting in the box and he's ready to go, he is fantastic. Muller driving into space again. Play it behind. This time he's got space. We drive. And that's a better finish from Hattrick there. As you can see, really clinical at times. Just very lacking. If you've got two strikers and he's the main guy sitting in the box ready to go, I think that's his best role. As a single striker, I think unless you're on old gen... You're going to struggle with him in new gen. I don't know if my expectations are so high because of how expensive he was. But let's go jump onto Footbin. There's enough gameplay now. So as you can see, we are on Footbin. It's got about 950,000 coins. And you have to remember that price tag when we're looking at reviews. So we had a Hunter on him, which I do believe is his best chem style. Makes him a 93 rated striker. In terms of finishing, I was very harsh on him again because of his price tag. But he is very clinical. Very, very good up front. Great at finishing, that is for sure. The problem being is, again, the sprint speed lets him down. So he goes into full speed, and then you feel him going forward, and then he slows down. And that's because, again, not being lengthy on new gen. On old gen, I don't think you have a problem with him at all doing that. I do find that they are saying engine or finisher. I think that's just to boost up his long shot. So finisher basically improves his dribbling, as of course, and doesn't really touch it. I wouldn't put a finisher on him personally. I don't understand why you'd have that. And engine as well, in terms of controlled... Again, not really boosting up the things you need to be boosted. You want to be looking at something that's going to really boost up his long shots or shot power altogether. And that's going to be a dead eye. I think that Hunt is still the best, but after that is dead eye for sure. Great at passing. I think he's better in the two system. So you have somebody. So he would be sitting up front on his own, ready for the ball in the box, preferably. And the second striker is the one who's going to be running past, looking for space. Because his through balls and his short passing is unbelievable. In front of the box, again, like most strikers that aren't lengthy, are very, very clinical. The problem being is, if you're playing against somebody who is very good defensively, he's very difficult to get behind the line. For example, we came up against Matip in the last gameplay you saw, and we still couldn't get past him all the time. And that's a Matip. Somebody that's worth about 1,000 coins. And someone that's worth 950,000 coins, something to really consider. Considering Mbappe is only like two, 300k more, Mbappe would be way better in that sense, if you were to understand what I mean. In terms of price range, though, you've got Mbappe, who's about 300k more. He'll be way better in terms of coin coin to value, I think. There are way cheaper strikers that are better. But it depends what you're on. As always, though, if you have any questions about this card or any other card in the game, please comment down below. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that like button, subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.